me. your context this is the video that you saw yesterday the behind the scenes right now I'm going to where I'm gonna meet the guy that is giving me the rights to drive his Mustang I don't know how that works like <laughs> uh, so here's some more of that context thing I was talking about earlier but now we're um, where we're supposed to meet and Mustang man I think uh, his name is JP um, he went to the wrong place. He went to the wrong parking lot. So now I'm just waiting for him to come over here. Jason is the one helping me doing rolling shots. And Jason is supposed to be here at four. So more than likely we're gonna be here all at the same time. I mean, anybody who does media stuff, I think is by default late. You can't actually get us on time anywhere. It's just impossible. You know, I, I really do find it kind of ironic that, you know, out of every kind of car I could have possibly first reviewed on my channel, because I knew car reviews, or at least one of them was coming on this channel eventually. I got a Mustang. <laughs> You're like, what? So that's oh, back there. I lied to you. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? How Jim. You doing? Nice to meet you. JP. Oh, hey, man. man. Yeah, so where's this Mustang? Let me come see. Uh, right over here. Yeah. Yeah, for a second there, I thought I, uh... Yeah, no, don't worry about it, man. Along. Oh, this thing looks mean. Thank you. My goodness. You see, I've with the um the SN ninety fives, if I were to ever buy like a nineties Mustang, this would have been the one I bought. Really? Yeah, no, I'm serious. I never awesome. I never like the the O three O Terminators, like they look great, but there was something about these like nineties Hot Wheels car. These things I love these that, things. Man. That's <laughs> awesome because when I bought it it was it had a lot of the stuff on there. I basically I added the wheels, the suspension. Right. Uh, the steering wheel is a, a one-off custom piece. It looks great. Uh, yeah, from this company down in North Carolina. Really the nice. I added. We got an SVT Cobra and then an Accord leading us all. This is great. I'll tell you what though, these SVT Cobras, you know, I've seen pictures of them. Oh, it just sounds so dirty. The tail lights look like they're gonna kill somebody. Like, this is a menacing looking car. Why do people hate SN95s? These things are so cool. <laughs> want to stay on uh oh okay this is not good I need to call JP however I think the 90s Mustang uh, trivia is biting me right now this is so stereotypical to happen a 90s Mustang yo dude um, your car doesn't have an issue with randomly dying does it this turned into a complete shitstorm. It was getting dark, it was cold, it was windy, I didn't have a jacket, and my battery was getting low on my phone. Things were not looking good at all. Why did you die? Oh my god. I got stranded on some old farm road in the absolute middle of nowhere. By foot, according to Google, I was an hour away from where JP was. I ended up just having him drive my vet over to where I was. I gave him my GPS location, and he came to try and get the car going again. It was clattering really, really bad by the time it, you know, it pulled over. I mean, it doesn't explain the dying, like you'd hit the brakes and it would just die. But um, the clattering, it might be because we just checked the oil and there was no oil. Uh, <laughs> That car was finished. It was history. We checked the oil, we opened the dipstick, there was no oil in it. We have no idea where the oil went or if there was any in it to begin with, but it's not there anymore. Thankfully, AAA saved my ass. I'm a AAA member and I can get his car towed. Um, you know, so we're not completely fucked. <laughs> um, we were on this spooky old farm road that nobody had ever heard of. AAA told us it's gonna be at least an hour before the tow truck gets to us. I decided I wanted to go get some pizzas, so I hopped on my vet and the car wouldn't crank. 
Yeah, see, now we're double fucked because I just tried to start my car and I guess I left the lights on too long because, yeah, now, <laughs> yeah, now my battery, it won't, it's not, it's not powerful enough to crank the motor now. You just crank, you go to crank it, put it in crank position, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't even trigger. So now not only were we waiting for the tow truck to tow the Mustang, now we're waiting for a jump because I can't move my car. We all be saved, baby. We saved. I thought he was about to hit my vet for a minute. We saved. Oh, Lord. I figured after all of this, I might as well give JP a sticker. <laughs> The important thing about all of this, you know, is the fact that everybody is safe. No one got hurt, no cars got hurt, nothing got damaged, no one else got hurt. This is a big deal that everything is okay. Now guys, let this be a lesson to be learned. Like I said before, it was really cool of JP to let me drive his Mustang, and it really sucked that that had to happen to it. It's just not fair, like you can't predict that stuff. I didn't do anything to break it, and he sure as hell didn't. You know, it's okay to do stupid shit in a car, hooning around, whatever, you know? It's one thing if you're endangering yourself, that's fine. It's a whole nother thing if you're endangering somebody else. If you guys are screwing around with cars on the street and they break down, they have an issue, get it off the road. And this thankfully, you know, no one was hurt and nobody did get hurt. After talking to JP, he just told me what's probably gonna end up happening with that car is a new motor is just gonna be swapped in. I told him put a Chevy in it, he won't listen to me, but that's what's gonna be happening with that car. But that car needs a new motor. We don't know what happened to it yet. I'm guessing something really, really bad happened. Let me know in the comments what you guys think happened to that or you guys can identify that noise. With that, that's all I got for you guys. So if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button for me. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe because I say I post daily content, that doesn't happen. It's more like three videos a week. So if you want that, just, just hit the subscribe button. And they're really good videos. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys.